Hello Internet, trusty Phil Brown here with another movie review for this week. This week I'm taking a look at Tammy. It is the latest film by uh, Melissa McCarthy, who is of course a uh, one of the more successful comedic voices of her generation. And uh, this is actually quite a personal film for uh, Melissa McCarthy as the script that her and her husband, Ben Falcone, have been working on for years before her breakup of Formids and Bridesmaids and uh, one that her husband directed and McCarthy also produced. It'd be very nice to say that this was uh, her best movie to sort of expand her career, but unfortunately it's probably the weakest one she's put out uh, since uh, breaking out through Bridesmaids. The, it feels as though it was written initially to be kind of an indie Sundance, a sad, funny comedy, and then because she got so famous she was able to get interest in a major studio, and they tried to shoehorn what was originally a very small, almost dramatic film uh, into more of a big, broad comedy that gradually turns into a soft drama. That never works. It's very totally inconsistent, kind of a mess, and that's a shame. Um, how, it, it's probably going to be the first uh, bomb that she's had since her big breakout, but it's not as horrible a movie as people have suggested. It's just sort of confused and flawed, and unfortunately because she's so big right now, it's it's and it's been released on such a massive scale, it's going to get extra hate than it deserves. That's kind of a bummer for the plot. Melissa McCarthy plays a sort of working class failure who in the opening scenes loses her job, her car, and her marriage. So she decides to head around the road with her uh, fast talking crazy alcoholic grandma played by Susan Sarandon. They engage in a bunch of bad behavior. Uh, some of it works, some of it doesn't, and eventually leads to a kind of meet cute love story and a bizarre climax set at an all lesbian 4th of July party. <laughs> um, so, yeah, as I said, very tonally confused. Um, all of the sort of slapstick feels uh, very, very tacked on, and Melissa McCarthy's shtick feels a little stale simply because we've seen it so many times before, and it feels as though a lot of the best jokes that she probably wrote for the script ended up getting shoved into other movies. Um, <clears throat> The transition never quite works, but it has to be said that um, even though McCarthy's big uh, body comedy doesn't quite work in this, uh, when she gets into uh, this sort of subtler dramatic stuff, she shows a couple layers of the actress that she hasn't shown before and, and suggests that she probably has a bit more versatility than she's been allowed to show, and that would be nice to see. Also, the supporting performances are really strong, despite the fact she's got uh, the worst old lady wig that you could possibly imagine, even at a cheap Halloween party. Um, she delivers quite a kind of nice and, and uh, raucous performance, and uh, Kathy Bates shows up at the uh, to host the lesbian 4th of July party that I mentioned earlier, and proves once again that any movie would benefit from having a little more Kathy Bates in it. Um, so, it, 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 it's not without its interesting moments, and suggests that had this been done as kind of a smaller low-key dramedy that uh, would never have been great, but it at least could have been a little more, more consistent, and once again, I think this movie is just more than anything else hurt by the fact that it's being released on a grand scale and marketed as a big, broad comedy when it most certainly is not, and that are actually the weakest elements in it. Uh, it's kind of a shame uh, for McCarthy just because this is such a personal project for her, and and in the moments that it were success, her and her husband might actually have a kind of interesting voice at writers and, and could produce interesting movies in the future. It's just unfortunate that the first film that is plagued with all the problems of a first-time movie on a, uh, is released on such a grand scale and is likely going to be released to the slaughter um, by her disappointed fans and already pretty adamantly negative critics. Um, I hope that they try to make another film because I think that uh, once they've seen what went wrong here, they could probably do something better next time. Um, but there's no need to feel that bad for McCarthy simply because she's so popular in Hollywood now, she's got another four movies <laughs> um, already in the can that uh, I'm sure one of them are going to have a big bounce back for her. But unfortunately, for, when it comes to Tammy, I just can't recommend it. It just doesn't quite work and never holds together and uh, should be avoided simply because there are better movies to see. It's a bit of a shame because I was really looking forward to a comedy this week, but <laughs> alas, if uh, a comedy is defined by how many times you laugh, then this one is a pretty big failure in that department. So yeah, Tammy, don't see it, but uh, don't worry, I'm sure there will be uh, a much more worthy comedy coming along in the next couple weeks. This has been a uh, sadly disappointed Phil Brown signing up for Primer.com.